What's up guys, so today we're going to be doing a little unboxing of the M1 uh, Dango wallet. So as you can see, this is the uh, the packaging that it comes in. I'm going to try to focus on this. So this is the packaging it has. It's like a um, like aluminum packaging. And then I think it gives you instructions in the back. But, uh, as you can see, it has like the little picture of how the wallet's gonna look front and back. I'm pretty sure you guys don't care about all that stuff. We're just gonna get in the packaging. There it is. Dango. Or Dango. So you open it, and it's like a little, like a little lever thing. So in the front, you get this right here, which is. Ooh, Basically instructions on how to use the wallet. I'm pretty sure if you guys are gonna buy this wallet, you guys are gonna know how to use it and everything. Oh my god. So there's the wallet. Alright, so taking out the wallet, there's a lanyard on the side. I think this comes standard on all Dingo wallets. Alright, so you get this lanyard right here which you can uh, strap it onto the wallet and you can use it so I'm probably not going to be using this because I don't usually use lanyards for my wallet so I'm going to probably toss this aside but this is the uh, the wallet right here so right off the bat you um, you definitely feel like the premium the quality that it has as you can see it's the black leather um, it doesn't have the um, the little clasp right here because this is the uh, I think this is the cheaper version. This is like 109, which is definitely not cheap. This is actually very expensive and very premium. So um, yeah, overall, I mean, it, it feels good and everything. You have two card slots. You have one right here in the front, and then you have another one back here. So um, so you can put two card slots right there. And I believe this is a um, ID slot. So like if you had your ID, you can have that little picture cut out right there. And then the the um, the metal right here is like it's like a really brushed like gray finish. So it's, it's actually a really nice metal. So opening the wallet, you greet it with this right here. And uh, this is the, it's like rubber, it holds in your um, your money inside. And then this right here holds in more cards. So this probably, I think this holds like a good six cards. Um, if, I'm, if I'm correct, it holds six cards. And then uh, you can really customize this wallet. So the other wallets, if you guys go to their websites, they have like the multi-tool. Multi so you can put it inside this slot this is I, I think this is another photo ID right here um, so you can put your ID right here and then um, you can have easy access so I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and take this card out and then I'll just put it in here just like that so yeah you take them out like that probably just you have to turn it like this so that you can take it out but overall damn this looks nice Alright guys, so this is the wallet I'm using right now. This is a uh, a Levi's wallet. So this is um, I've had this wallet for probably like a year already, and um, it's it's pretty you know it's not too bulky, but it gets kind of bulky with um, it gets kind of bulky with all the uh, with coins and stuff. So the thing that, um, that happened was that that's what happens all the time when I try to get my cards out all the coins come out so I was just trying to get a wallet that didn't hold coins so that I won't have to deal with that anymore um, so let me let me go ahead and take out all my cards from here and let me do a comparison I'm pretty sure a lot of a lot of people have wallets like these 
So let me do a little comparison of how thin this wallet is. All right, guys. So this is the comparison. As you can see, it's uh, it's pretty thin compared to my old wallet. Super thin. It's probably like one, two. It's probably like three times thinner, and um, and it's you know. So that's that's mainly because all my cards are in here. So let's see what happens when I put my cards all in here. Alright guys, so as you can see, the wallet is now all black, so it has all those black screws in it. So it looks it looks really nice now. So I'm I'm really liking how it looks. It looks like super stealthy. So if you guys wanna customize your dangle wallet, just go to the website and uh, go ahead and pick you guys some screws. And if you guys were wondering, the actual wallet itself, when you order it, it's not gonna come with the little with the little um, tool. See. I'm gonna come with this little tool right here. So um, I think that's an Allen wrench. So it's not gonna come with that. Um, so you're gonna have to buy the little screws so that they can give you one of these. Uh, but yeah, overall this this looks really nice. Let me let me pack it up with some cards though. All right, guys. So as you can see, I packed the wallet up. So now it has money. It has a few cards in there. And um, and yeah, it's still not noticeably uh, super thick. So what I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go on their website and I'm gonna buy the uh, the little multi tool that goes here that um, holds all these secure because uh, Dango advertises to put a, a key right here, but I don't feel comfortable putting a key right there in that spot. All right, so I'm going to get that little multi tool so that I can. Uh, put it in here and it will hold it, all the stuff down because that kind of bothers me right there so I'm gonna get that I think it's like 20 bucks on their site so it's not that bad um, but yeah so as you can see I have one card in here I like it because it has like a texture inside the pockets that it, it doesn't make them like fall out or anything so as you can see they don't fall out very easily or they don't even fall out unless you like really really want them to the way to take these out is you just kind of push from this uh, this little piece right here you just push like that and then you can go ahead and take out your card so I have the other one in there so I just push up just like that and I can take out my uh, my other card that I use and then when you put them back in you know it's still kind of tight in there because it's not broken in but I like that because it, it makes you feel like it's a premium product, you know. So in here I have my ID and then I put two bucks in here. So as you can see, this, this is how uh, two bills are going to look inside your wallet. I don't really carry cash, so this is all I have right now. And then um, take it out, take it out, and then boom, there's your cash. And then in here, I think I have a good... I would say like five cards in here. I have a good amount of cards in here, so they're not gonna be falling out either. And then the same thing to get in them, you just kinda pop them out just like that. So I'm just gonna put them back in there. So hey guys, if you guys uh, like this review, go ahead and like, subscribe, and uh, comment down below what wallet you guys carry or if you guys are gonna Go ahead and uh, buy yourself a Dengo wallet. This is the M1 series, and um, thank you for watching. I'll see you guys.